Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Sangha Mitra. Welcome you guys with all my heart one more time. So guys, today I'm going to share with you all one of my interview experiences I have had with Landmark Groups. It, it's a Dubai-based retail company and I happened to not crack the interview, but I eventually went on for the first one or two rounds. So however, I'm going to share, you my, share with you my experience so that you guys can learn from it and eventually know where are the areas of improvement. So Landmark Group is typically a Dubai-based company. It's a retail company. It was founded, it's, it's a pretty old company. It was founded in the year around, uh, I think, 1973 or so. It's a, you know, mid-sized company around, uh, you know, 50,000 to 55,000 employees. So um, I was referred and, you know, I kind of uh, was interviewed by them. So I'm going to tell you my experience. So the first round was just an introduction round, uh, you know, with the, since I was into QA, it was with the QA lead or the QA head of the, you know, project for which they were looking for. And I was given an insight of, you know, what tools and technologies are being used and, you know, how do they work, their work culture, their, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, customers and what is the expectations from, uh, you know, any SDET or any QA who comes in and things like that. I was asked if I had any questions, what were my expectations and stuff like that. Uh, then eventually there was round two. So round two was, uh, you know, purely a technical round. So uh, it was, uh, so I was asked questions only uh, related to data structure and algorithm and I was asked I think one of the Java questions so the technical interview started off with uh, you know just tell me the tools you've worked on so far so you know I had told him the tools which I'm working on um, and then it was like what are the languages you know is it only Java or JavaScript or anything else outside Java because they, they are typically working on um, you know uh, javascript and things like that so eventually we moved on so there was one coding question that was given to me which was to find if two strings are anagram or not so two strings we call them anagram when the letters of the first string matches the letters like listen and silent like they are anagram strings because um, the characters of string one matches the characters of string two. So there are multiple ways of doing it, right? So you can either use a hash map concept, you can use string concept. So um, the condition which was given was I was not supposed to use any of the inbuilt methods. So what I was trying to do is I was trying to sort both my strings using collections.sort. And I was just trying to compare. So that wasn't allowed. So I used a hash map concept so storing and then comparing against the map so i eventually got the solution but what happened was to solve that problem without using the inbuilt method it took me a lot of time so around 20 minutes or so just went on for that particular problem post which i was asked to reverse an element which is present in a linked list so uh, as we know, right, if an element is a linked list, so linked list works uh, in a completely different way and to pop an element and then to reverse it, you might have to use stack and concepts like that. So um, if he was nice because he did give me a hint of, you know, you can use stack to do that. But um, I have not worked with linked list because, you know, the, the um, frameworks or in my work experience, whatever I've worked on, we, we never needed stack or any data structure um, uh, for that matter, right? Um, like, like these kind of problems. So uh, I tried, but eventually there was no time. Like it was just a half an hour interview and, you know, he had to kind of stop and um, I was unselected. That was the round. So what, what I really learned from that interview, I can tell you guys, is don't take too much time solving one problem. Uh, you know, if you're trying to solve also, just ask whether it is OK to take that amount of time. I, I did ask multiple times, but I was told it's going to be an hour, but eventually it was, you know, for, an, for half an hour or so. So make sure that, um, you know, ask permission, like, is it okay if I take some more amount of time? Because I, I was so much into trying to solve the problem that I, I didn't look at, like, I, I took around 20 minutes. 
doing one simple problem and maybe that could have probably been the reason as to why you know I wasn't selected because um, you know you cannot take that much amount of time but eventually sometimes you know simple problems you tend to you know not solve it quickly when you actually ask during interviews but yeah so that was the overall experience so um, anyone who's trying to give an interview I, I can say from QA or SZ perspective uh, for um, the company landmark groups uh, be very thorough with whatever technology like um, very high standard questions like be thorough with data structure and algorithm uh, you know be thorough with uh, programming questions and uh, uh, what I was told is, you know, they, they use a lot of uh, their inbuilt tools. They, they don't depend on any of the open source or any of the market-based tools. They create their own tools, you know, to create and write test cases. So the expectation is definitely high because they use JavaScript. And always, um, it's, it's, it's really good if you can learn an alternate language also, like Java with JavaScript or you know any, any anything that interests you maybe selenium with a little bit of cypress so that you know because as we see like um, you know countries like dubai or when we see something outside they really use latest tech technologies so you know whenever you get a chance learn something new because there's no harm when you learn something new so that was the two rounds which i kind of gave and i, I didn't make it but i still thought i should make the video uh, for any of you guys who's trying to go through, uh, you know, I think they still have opening. Uh, if you see uh, Landmark Group's um, jobs profile, they still have the opening uh, for SDET. So anyone who's, who wishes to travel or is looking to move out of India can definitely, definitely give it a shot. Um, you know, you can contact the HR. His details are also on LinkedIn. So yeah, that was pretty much uh, the experience I have had with landmark groups. Uh, so I thought of sharing it with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.